Welcome back to the channel, y'all. In this video, I'm going to share with you guys my sin of the day. It's no other than I Man. That's what it's called. No, I take that bash Renegade Man. And it's basically just a rip, replica version of Diesel Bad. Smell good though to me. I've been just rocking it out for the day. And uh boy, this thing smell good. Good sprayer for the bill cheapy. Like where the top snap. I hear that. Watch this. I like where it snaps in place. Boy, this thing smell good. It's got kind of like a vibe in between one million and Victus. Aqua or something like this. It's kind of sweet. If you're in the sweet sense, then you'll like this one. Now, the good thing about this cologne here, if you see it anywhere, I picked this one up at Rose's department store, I think it was. If you see this anywhere, get it. It smells good. Now, the good thing about it, it has the notes and stuff on the box. I'm going to pronounce them out to you guys. I, I reviewed this before, but, you know, I'm just doing y'all my sin of the day. And then some of the stuff I wear days. Take a good bath, whatever, shower, and spray this on. And you good, man. You smelling good for the day. All right, so what this has in it, guys, it uh, says here, seduct and excited as the fresh, woody fragrance blends with bergamot, lavender, and quartermont with an exotic calabari <laughs> and muscular notes of tobacco, and woods to reveal a dark sense of pleasure. I right, got some crazy words. Some of these cologne be having some of the craziest words, don't they? I right, also saying here it got the notes in like a little circle here. It has the uh, sans bergamot, woody notes, and kabari. I guess that I'm pronouncing that right. It's kabara or something like that. Anyway, it smells super good. If you guys familiar with Diesel Bad, if y'all familiar with Diesel Bad, then y'all should know a lot about this fragrance here. Y'all should know how it smells, similar to how it smells, or whatever, you know. And I like cheapies like this because I can get a general idea how something smells, even if I didn't right buy the real cologne, you know. Let's say you don't want to spend fifty, sixty dollars on the original cologne. You know what I'm saying? You're on a budget, and you want something that smells similar to it. And your mind's telling you, "Yeah, you know, I want to try that cologne." You know, whatever, whatever. And then you go somewhere like City Trends. You want to see this? I'm just giving an example. And then if you want to spray it, you know, spray it, you smell it, it hits you. I really don't like that too good. So to give you a general idea, I don't like the scent too good. I thought it was better than that, you know. So that's how you'll be. Now, when I first put this on, I get about a good hour and a half of projection. The longevity is where this, uh, it doesn't last as long. Not this scent. I get about three to maybe four hours of longevity, five at tops. And longer, but now I'm getting somewhere between three and four hours. Because as you guys know, the temps is cooler now. So therefore, your colognes ain't going quite as far as it did in July and June, August. So now, you know, we get like temps in the 60s some days. So a scent like this, uh, I, I don't mind real reapplying my colognes, like I tell you guys. You know, because that's why we get a whole ball and that's why we go for budget fragrances. That's why we try to get something cheaper. Now, after about three to four hours, I just spray it on me again. You know, that's just I hit my shirt collar up in here and everything. I just spray it again. But um, some people have an issue with that. Like, they hate to reapply. I don't. I mean, that's why you get a 3.4 so you can reapply the thing. You know, now pretty much, you know, a lot of these fragrances on me, I got super dry type skin. Normally in the wintertime, fall time, when it starts to get cold, they phase on me. I get a good three, four, maybe five hours tops. And that's pretty much with any cologne. That's why a lot of times when I come up to you guys, y'all going to see that I be rocking a lot of the oils. I wear a lot of oils in the winter because the oils project better 
that lasts longer on my skin during the winter months. You know, that's just me. So that's about all you get, about an hour and a half projection, three to four hours of longevity. But it does smell super good. I'm going to bring the ball in close to you guys so y'all can see. The baller is very cool. It's got like the engravings on the baller in the front. Got the same kind of design engravings on the back. And uh, it's a cool looking baller. Even the box look pretty cool. Like I'm telling you guys, got like the notes on the back right there. It's telling you everything you need to know about this cologne. And I just got a picture of the baller on the back. And it's called Renegade. Renegade, man. And like I said, just an impression of Diesel Bad. So, yeah, three to four hours is not bad considering the price. Oh, like I tell you guys, you always can just, <laughs> just reapply the thing and don't even worry about it, you know. And, um, yeah, after about four hours, reapply. That's what I do. So, anyway, I just want to share with you guys my center of the day. Y'all stay tuned for my center of the night. Hope you guys enjoy. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button. All right. So next time, the ladies do like this scent because I got compliments with it. You know, smells kind of like uh, Paco Rabanne and Victor's a little, as well as one million to a little. All right, give you some of the scents, what it smells like. Great date night scent with your wife or your girlfriend out on a dinner date or just night out, period, or whatever, you know. So in a way, there you have it. Stay tuned. My scent of the night, I'm out. Peace.